this is the mod that I showcased last week, and this is one of the tools that I use to increase my YouTube productivity, especially in portable document management. This is UPDF, one of the greatest pieces of software that's able to view, edit, convert, sign, and even interact with a PDF file, which I have been using for the past two weeks, as I've shown in the last video. Alright, straight into the app. The look of the app is pretty simple. You got the option to open a file, and recent files are supposed to be displayed down below. And there's a tab system within this application to ease up multiple document management. And by opening a PDF file like one of my scripts, you can do what PDF viewer normally can, such as zooming in and out, and scroll between pages. Slideshow view is available in here too. Within this application, not only you can just view a PDF file, but you can underline the text for certain topics, highlight some sentences for taking notes, stamp them for validation, add signatures, and even stickers, which is very cool. So far, this is a very convenient piece of software that I tried already while managing school assignment files whilst taking the YouTube break in January. And do you think that's just that? Uh uh uh. Unlike other PDF viewers that I have seen which only able to add new text, in this application you can edit some text inside the PDF without converting it to Word document file first. I kinda need this feature whenever I go around the internet and see a PDF file that I want to modify such as this one. Or if you want to add a watermark for confidential information and such stuff, then you can do it right here. Whilst you can change the existing text and images, additionally you can add new pages either from scratch or from a file that you previously have. For example, whenever I left out a specific page from a script like this one, I can add it in this app as if it never missed. You can also delete or replace pages from a PDF. Nice. As for filling out a form, you can do just that without having to print or convert it first. You can fill the form right from the app. Don't forget about the digital signature that you can add, either hand signature or digital signature is what I have shown earlier. Another real life scenario I counter is that if you scan a paper or document from, let's just say, from the phone, you can modify it with OCR feature on this app. It's pretty amazing! Security protection feature is also available with this app. In this case, I'm going to create a password for this PDF. After you're done changing contents of the PDF, you can save it as PDF like before, or export it with a variety of formats such as a Word document, rich text format, Excel worksheet file, as well as others. And if you want to get some help about the PDF, such as translating some words, create further explanation about it, or just summarize it in general, there's a built-in AI tool to help you to do it. Although you can make the AI do everything you want for the PDF, it is not meant to be 100% replaceable from human input, so you can do the job while the AI assists you. I have to emphasize that I have tried this software for two weeks, and let's just say it's a good piece of software that you can try it out yourself, and UPDF even kindly gave you a discount link that you can use to get UPDF Pro and use it across devices like Windows, macOS, iOS, and Android. You can still use the software for free, but if you want to unleash the full potential of the product like I do, you can check out the link in the description to get a discount. So, from now on, this software is one of my go-to programs for PDF management. In the meantime, I'm using Windows 10 actually, not Windows Vista. How does that work? You can check out this video. Meanwhile, thank you to my supporters for making this video possible, and also don't forget to check out this video.